Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you three of the biggest upgrades I have planned for my Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 in the next few months. So let's begin with number one, which is ride height and suspension. My Land Rover Defender is sitting on a two inch lift kit at the moment. And as you can see, when you're from the side of the vehicle, you've got that slight bit of room between the top of the wheels and the arches, which doesn't look bad. But for me, I'm not really that bothered about it being on a two inch lift kit. I mainly use this car on the roads and so I don't really need that kind of clearance. And if we have a closer look at what is actually on this car, this was all fitted by the previous owner. What you'll see is they are yellow springs at the back. I think they're probably Brit part or something. And then super gas shocks at the rear. And as you can see, they've all these components have seen better days. You can see the Lanark guard I did in the chassis is holding up really well, but these parts here are something that I didn't fit and they haven't fitted by the previous owner. Now, again, at the front, if we look, we've got a black spring set here. So they are different on the front and the rear as well. And the problem that I have with this suspension setup I have currently is I mainly use this vehicle on road. And also when I'm going over bumps, I get a lot of um, jolting from the car. It kind of crashes down into the potholes. It's not very smooth when you're driving. And now I have the stage two remap on my car, I would like something that's a little bit smoother for my day-to-day -day driving in this car, which as I mentioned, is mostly road bias. So I'm gonna be doing the full suspension setup and ride setup on this car in the next six weeks. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you currently have on your Defender? What do you recommend? Because I've looked at a lot of different options. You've got the standard kind of spring options, which a lot of companies produce, but you've also got things like the on-air suspension setup. So the air suspension that I know as a YouTube channel, uh, Sam from Juice Motors does a lot of air suspension installs on Defenders and they look great. So what's your experience? Have you got air suspension? Have you got springs? What's your favorite and why? Let me know in the comments below. Another option, of course, is to go lowered. I mean, this is a two inch lift. This is two inch over the normal height for a Defender. Some people, and when I went to the Land Rover owner's show, they had quite a few Defenders there that were actually lowered. I do think that gap is a little bit too big between the wheel and the, and the vehicle cosmetically. If I'm not planning on doing a lot of road in it, I do think that is the case. So I think closing that slightly would be good. Do I go lowered or do I go standard height? Again, another decision which I've, which I've kind of got to make in the next few weeks before getting this full overhaul done on the car. If you are new here to my YouTube channel, The Doctor's Garage, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and let me know what you think about this video, about my Defender in the comments below. So now let's move on to the upgrade number two. And this is of course my interior. So, Let's take a little bit more of a look around my interior and why I want to change it and what I want to change it to. So basically this car, when it was bought, didn't have a lot of the interior matting. It didn't have any carpeting. I fitted all this by Exmoor trim from one of their kits and I've sound deadened it, which I've done in previous videos, then put these mats over the top. It's all right, but it's a bit scruffy looking in places. Could do with a bit of tidy up in general. But I'm quite happy with things like the gators and things like that. I think it look quite nice. This cubby box is something I bought off Facebook Marketplace, actually. It's not even screwed down at the moment. And to be honest, it's not the best. I think this is maybe a Raptor 4x4 or something like that. But I'm not a big fan. To start with, it's too low. I'd quite like one of those raised cubby boxes because when you're driving, it's much more comfortable. Put your elbow on. Other than that, we've got mounting steering wheel. As I've been corrected before, I thought this was a Momo when I bought it, but it isn't. I would love to get probably an Optimil setup where you can unclip the steering wheel from a safety point of view, but also just get a nicer steering wheel, nicer to hold. This one, again, is a bit old, seen better days. So that's that's something else I want to want to sort out. The seats themselves are Exmoor trim originally, um, but there's a bit of damage on them, as you can see here, from this lever that hasn't got a case on. Generally, they're very comfortable. However, as I've mentioned to you guys before here on YouTube, and you might have read in some of the comments, 
I'm really after a tan interior. And that's something I'm going to be doing this year in the next six months or so, hopefully upgrading my full interior. And I'd like to go for tan, kind of the race bucket seat style. So maybe not Recaro's because they're a lot of money, but something maybe like the Corbeau's uh, or the uh, or the RXI's, not really sure yet. But something like that in here with the cubby, with a bit of dash trim would be my ideal. So what seats do you have in your Defender? Let me know in the comments below. If you've got any suggestions, what might work? I've been looking at Lucari solutions at the moment for mine, because I think they're probably going to be best. And generally just get it all sorted out inside. If we go around the back, those that are regulars on the channel will see that I've done my bulkhead removal bar quite recently, which actually I'm really happy with. As you can see, my seats now tip much further back making it much more comfortable. I'm six foot tall and it's better to drive now with that. Again, the back just needs to tidy up. I would like to know something from you guys is I have these seats at the moment from X4 Trim, which fold down and kind of come up and they are very good. They're in great condition, actually. Would be looking at selling them, but I'd quite like to put bench seats in here. Like you get the two that fold down or just a proper fixed bench. Imagine if that, again, tan leather would look great, but can I do that with this car? It's a 2007, can I put bench seats in there? If I do, what kind of seat belt setup do I need? Love to know your opinion on that and your advice on what you guys think. Finally, let's talk about modification number three, which has got to be my head unit. So again, this is an aftermarket head unit, but a very basic one. The guy who had it before actually did a few speaker upgrades, but it's not, it's not brilliant, to be honest. I would love to do a double DIN replacement here, so the double DIN thing, where this whole case, I imagine, comes out, and you can slot in one of those head units that has... Um, Apple CarPlay, you can get your maps up on there and everything else. That is definitely going to be my next option. So that is the third upgrade I'd like to do to this car in the next 6 to 12 months, is get all the interior sorted out with the seats. Then after that, get this head unit sorted out. Double DIN replacement, full screen setup with maps on and everything else would be the ideal. So that's kind of where I am with my modifications on my Defender. So they are my three modifications that I'd really like to do to my Defender. Like I say, in the next six to 12 months, get those few bits sorted, get a suspension and ride sorted out, because I think that will complement the rest of the work that I've done on this car really well. Then the interior, get these seats sorted out. If that happens, I will be selling these seats. So if you're interested, drop me a message below. I'll keep you in mind if I do decide to sell them. And, uh, and then finally, the interior sound system, the head unit, to get Apple CarPlay in this car, kind of modernize it a lot more. And I think if I can do those three things, it'll start to really come together as a car that is a bit more usable and also a little bit more comfortable to drive and also looks a lot better as well. Because I still think inside, although cosmetically outside, I'm really happy with the look that it is with the Keswick green and the gloss black. Interior wise, I still think there could be a lot to be desired. Go check out my other videos right now to watch more about my Defender.